welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. This tutorial is going to be really cool because we're going to be making another one of Lush's products and this is actually my first bubble bar. It's going to be the sparkly pumpkin bubble bar. So it's perfect for the upcoming Thanksgiving. It's also awesome because this product is actually sold out online. These bubble bars actually make great gift ideas. If you do want to give them out for Christmas, that's totally fine because everybody loves the smell of pumpkin. Don't forget to check out my other Lush products and also subscribe to this channel for more fun DIY. Okay, let's go! Bubble bars actually contain very similar ingredients in comparison to when you're making bath bombs and as far as the dry ingredients, the only difference is SLSA and this is basically the powder that gives the bubbles in your bubble bars. After mixing all the dry ingredients together, you can go ahead and add the wet ingredients and you'll only need half a cup of glycerin and also a tablespoon of your choice of any types of oil. After mixing that together, you can add your fragrance or even essential oil. Just make sure that it's safe for the body and just add a couple droplets of that. I'm also adding a couple droplets of orange food gel color, which you can just use regular food coloring. I actually find bubble bar recipes easier to follow than bath bomb recipes just because there's no water involved and if you do follow this recipe exactly, uh, you will get the same consistency as me which is kind of like this play-doh material that is so easy to shape. So now you're just going to take a toothpick and you're going to make some lines to make it look exactly like a pumpkin and the one at Lush actually only has four or eight lines on the top so it doesn't look, it does look like a pumpkin but you can make this one look even better. They also have a cinnamon stick on the top as a stem, but I didn't have any so I just took a branch from the backyard and that actually really worked out. And lastly, this is completely optional, but if you want a little bit of glitter, you can put some gold micas you can find in the description box below where I got them. They're safe for your skin and also for the ocean. So once you're done, you can set them aside and it literally took me five days for these bubble bars to even harden just a little bit so you can wait a little bit longer because they do take a while to harden. To use these bubble bars you just crumble them under running water and then you can go ahead and agitate the water to create even more bubbles. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week. Take care!